Hello! Today I'm following on from the last video. Um, I spent the, the earlier part of the day photographing on that sandy beach and I was trying to go to a second location nearby that it's connected to but that didn't really work out because the um, there were so many camper vans and stuff which I'll explain in a minute. So this is the second part where I go to a third location and I shoot sunset and I shoot two compositions at, um, over a stretch of time and each one is different and so I just wanted to talk about each image and I decided to create this as a second video because it was I think an interesting point about how although the composition isn't different the way the light is interacting with the landscape is a lot different and for me I think it's important to experiment on a location and try different things and so I hope you enjoy the images from today and let's get this video started. Well, that was a bit of a fiasco to be honest. My secondary location really did not work out. Um, there was a ton of camper vans there, like 40, 40 camper vans, something like that. There was tents everywhere. There was families running around, kids, dogs. I knew I wouldn't be able to get any compositions because it was just so much going on that it just really would not have worked out. So I've come to a backup location. The only issue is this is very windy here. So um, I'm just going to film it as B-roll and then I'll add voiceover later, I think. I think that's the best approach. I'm not sure if there's going to be any sunset colours or anything because um, it looks like there's a lot of heavy clouds over to the west blocking out the light. But you never know. Um, it is possible. And it does look like there's some rain coming across the sea as well. So fingers crossed I can get something... Uh, When I arrived at my third location, I knew that I wanted to try and do some minimalist photography, focusing in on the sky and the sea. I ended up fiddling with the composition several times, especially as the light developed through this, the evening. So I'm going to show you each of the images one after another, and uh, I think that's the best way to compare the differences between them, the differences in the way that the the scene evolved in the time, rather than the difference of composition. So with this theme of minimalist photography, I ended up taking four different images through the evening. And as I said, I was switching between compositions. So th in, there's gonna be another image feature set where, where I'm focusing on one particular composition of the beach and the sea interacting with the light but for this these scenes I focused only on the sea and the sky this first image was the first image I took when I arrived at this location I immediately knew that the sky was doing amazing things the clouds were doing amazing things and I wanted to capture it as a very simple image what drew me in and what made me process it is the blue tones in the sky. Uh, the other images that are coming up, they have some orange tones as well, but this is a very tranquil, peaceful scene. And the settings for this one were 30 seconds at F8 ISO 100. And I hope you enjoy it. As the light was fading, 
I had to reduce my aperture and so for this image it was 30 seconds at f5.6 with ISO 100 but I like the little touches of orange in the the lower part of the horizon and I really like the white effect that the the long exposure created with the waves in the foreground. After fumbling with my bag, I finally realized I did have my cable release with me. As you may have noticed in my few videos, I often forget small pieces of equipment because I'm busy thinking about like uh, cameras, lenses, um, making sure I've got a lens cloth and, and stuff like that. So I, I often forget a, a small item or, or another, but everyone does that sort of thing, right? So I was fiddling around and I eventually found my cable release. And so I was able to push my aperture back up to f11 and um, I just, I did guesswork basically to figure out the, the length of the shutter speed. So for this image, which actually is my favorite image that I got in the minimalist style that evening, was an exposure of around four minutes, 241 seconds um, at f11 ISO 100. And as I said, this is my favorite image from that evening because I really love the pastel colors just catching on the light on the clouds and I like the fact that you can see the across the horizon you can see the landscape some the mountains emerging from the sea and again I just love the tones of the ocean This last minimalist image was the last image I took on that shoot. It was a very long exposure. Again, I was just guessing. The light had all but gone, but I wanted to create a dark and stormy and tempestuous image, even though I was using a long exposure to smooth out the water. I just wanted that ominous feeling. And so I ended up exposing for around eight minutes. Um, 482 seconds at f11 ISO 100 and you can really feel that darkness in the image it's got the the dark foreground the dark ocean and the the, the clouds are moving through the image creating a bit of a painterly effect in the sky there's still a bit of light and highlights in the sky which I don't think distracts from the darkness and the tempestuousness of the image. But I hope you enjoy it and let me know your thoughts on this minimalist style below. As I said before I showed you the minimalist images, I was fiddling between compositions. So I was experimenting with that minimalist style, but I was also trying to get a more classic image as well. And so I actually took four images of the, the beach with the sky in the background and the sea to the, to the right. The first image has the most light. This was the second image I took at the location and the sun was still above the horizon so there's a, a bit of a burnt out spot which I don't really like. I actually focused in on the, the stones to give a leading line towards the background and with the 10 stop filter it smoothed out the waves happening on the right hand side of the image but I'm not really sure about it because there is a bit of burnout in that one particular area that I'm not a big fan of and I, I thought I'd show it anyway I, because uh, I, wouldn't, I want to talk about composition in photography and why I don't like this image very much so 
that, that's why that's there. I much prefer this second image where I was using the beach as an anchor on the left hand side of the image and there's a lot more sea and I really like the painterly effect of the, the waves moving over the rocks and the light just brushing across the clouds. Um, this one was 30 seconds at f4 ISO 100 as I still hadn't realised I had my cable release but for the last two images I was able to use the cable release to extend the exposure beyond 30 seconds. Again, this one, this third image is the best one from this image set in my opinion. I really like the composition, it's got a nice leading line leading to the sun just sitting above the horizon. There's nice tones in the clouds from the, the setting sun as well with a bit of a magenta orange hue and I like the, the waves on that have been smoothed out on the, the right hand side and the clouds as well have been smoothed out and that's because for this exposure it was 201 seconds at 11, f11 ISO 100. So that works out at about three and a half minutes, somewhere around there. And I really like it. This is definitely the best one from this image set. The final image was taken almost immediately after this one and I tried to create a portrait orientation so that there was a, a stronger leading line um, but the sun had just dipped beyond the horizon and that's why I think this, this image is a little less powerful than the image before it. Um, but hey ho, it happens, uh, th this is part of the process that I wanted to talk about. Um, how the images differ when we get home and through the editing process so I'm not I, don't, I think that I working through the images like this was a really good idea on the location I waited for the light to change I tried different things and really out of all of them there's only I would only feature two images um, I should really only feature two images, but I wanted to show you the differences that can happen with time and experimentation at a location. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that part anyway. And uh, luckily I did record a last little bit at the location before I went home. So let's carry on through the B-roll and get to the other end. Oh, it's cold out there now. The wind has really picked up. There was a bit of spray in the air. It was 
mayhem and uh, this camera doesn't do so well in high ISO situations I've just discovered. <laughs> it had real trouble focusing so I'm interested to see how those images turned out but again you've already seen them so you know. Um, what I was trying to do out there was just um, ultra minimalist, ultra long exposure, sea and skyscapes basically. I thought that would work. Um, you've seen the images, I, I hope they worked out. I'm looking forward to processing them, so let me know what you think about the images in the comments below. It's really good feedback for me. There was so many people at the other location, it, it was a real shame because I, the light would have been amazing there. I mean, there was such beautiful sunset over in the, over towards the west, um, which that location faces. Thank you very much for watching this long. This one was a bit higgledy-piggledy, a bit all over the place. Not, not what I had intended because of having to switch locations. And uh, here it's so noisy that I just really could not record sound properly. So that's why I've done it as a voiceover. The next instalment. There's a couple walks that I really want to do, but there's no point doing them in the fog. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the next instalment, whatever it may be. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. It's really, really appreciated. It shows that I'm doing something right. And um, any advice or, or um, thoughts, just comment below. And I will see you on the next one.